Hi guys, happy Easter. It is um, Saturday. We are two days in our four day long weekend. Um, I've extended mine to five days. I'm taking Tuesday off as well. Morning look, hello. Uh, so I've just done my run this morning and uh, did my quick meditation and I've got my um, coffee. So, um, but I just want to jump on to share with you something that I experienced the last couple of weeks. So I may have mentioned this every now and then, and that was me dealing with huge challenges, um, quite intense, um, last couple of weeks when people that were renting rooms from me were dropping off like flies, like never seen it before. Every day my phone would have a message and I'll have like some sort of a, like a bit of an anxiety, like. Uh, attack for a few split seconds because I'm like okay what now you know messages were like I've lost my job um, I may not be able to pay rent I might be late in rent um, I have to go back to the UK um, I'm worried I can't get back to the UK I'm worried that um, the borders are going to close on me in Queensland like I have to go like those are just some of the messages um i've been getting maybe one of these days well next couple of weeks if i have some time maybe i should do a collage on some of those messages and to remind myself that um i can get through them but those messages were coming in every single day when um scomo um uh you know closed the borders on international uh for international to international people um and then each state closed their own borders hello tony and um so, you know, that obviously got me into a state of panic, um, naturally. And every morning I wake up and I told this to Tony, my coach, is that I feel like, um, you know, every day is a battle. Every day um, I'm expecting something will happen and I'm training my mind to think I'm going in battle every single day. I wake up every single day. I'm like, what now? I'm going in a battle. And one thing that Tony Merida told me is, you know, that's a really bad way uh, to wake up every morning. Um, to me, I thought, you know, that's fine. You know, like I'm going in, I'm fighting and all good. But the problem is what he says all the time is that thoughts become things. Um, when I really shouldn't be seeing this as um, as a war or or constant challenge, uh, you know, constant. I mean, challenge is good, but in a bad way. I took it as a really bad challenge that, you know, I'm having anxiety attacks. I'm getting sick, obviously, every second week with a cold and so I guess this morning he sent me this um this podcast uh school of greatness I believe it's called and he told me to listen in at you know a certain point in time in that particular podcast and it really really resonated with me and I thought I'll just share it, share it with you guys and that was about um the state of mind and how they described a person if you are constantly in emergency mode um, your immune system will be compromised and of course you would get sick easily um, you know my husband Eddie my kids went out on that very windy run that afternoon and they were fine but then I got sick for like four or five days before I recently just recovered because my immune system has been down and because I was operating for like three weeks in emergency mode the mode of you know getting those messages emergency got to start advertising for room filling rooms working really hard which is great you know like i'm determined i'm focused i'm doing stuff i'm not whinging about i'm doing it but the problem that i had was i was in emergency mode and because of that it wasn't great for my health great for my business that you know that i'm filling rooms very quickly getting onto it not procrastinating getting onto the problem quickly but my health was not great because I was in, in emergency mode so I was listening to this podcast this morning after my run and meditation I thought geez you know they were talking about I felt like they were talking about me you know I was operating in emergency mode and it was and they were saying that um, we cannot operate in that sort of way even though um, you know there's a virus going on at the moment we need to find ways to be happy, um, get find ways to have those um, endorphins and and some other medical terms that they say that you get from running. And that's why last year when I pushed myself to run, yeah, sure, I had a few colds here and there, but they didn't last long. It wasn't, there were mild colds that I could kind of still push on and do things and had energy. 
And I think there was one point in time where I was so sick of my nine to five that I wish I was sick and not have to go to work, but I was so healthy. I couldn't even be sick. So, you know, I think running, getting the heart rate up, it's good. Um, help to de-stress so that you're not um, in that emergency mode. And of course, I have to work a bit on my mindset and not to be in that emergency mode. So I think it's important that we take care of our mind as our, as well as our body and get those natural endorphins um, into our body to get um, us out of that emergency mode. So yeah, so that's what's been happening. Um, just about to start the day with the kids. Um, got my coffee ready to go. Uh, let's see one of these comments. Luke is on saying tough run this morning. Love a challenge even when they're super tough. Uh, yep, and because you go for your run every day, Luke, you seem to be quite healthy usually. And Tony Gallagher, great to hear you have found a way to change your mindset. Yep, damn frozen, shall listen after. Sorry, uh, stress will make me sick. Yeah, that's what's been happening. I've been in emergency mode. Um, happy, happy, joy, music and dance. Yeah. So uh, yeah, interesting, interesting discovery this morning, and I thought. Uh, I'll share that with you guys. Anyway, guys, have a great Saturday. Um, shops are open, I believe. Uh, some shops. Um, get your essentials. You're not meant to be shopping. Um, but we're doing well as a whole country. Um, I believe the last I checked, we're down to about 40-ish new confirmed cases. And hopefully, it will just keep coming down. Anyway, guys, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.